and liftoff. Seven months after the James Webb Space Telescope launched, people gathered to watch in India, Israel, and at the Canadian Space Agency near Montreal to see the deepest, most detailed color images of the universe ever captured. We can see possibilities no one has ever seen before. The Webb's predecessor, the Hubble, once captured this deep field image of a galaxy cluster. This is what the James Webb Space Telescope observed. A closer look shows the layers of detail. Red specks in the background are distant galaxies from more than 13 billion years ago. Also released this display of gas and dust expelled from a dying star. This is what the Hubble was able to capture before. Not just pretty pictures, scientists say embedded in these images is a wealth of data. That data, you know, it dropped when they, when they were revealed, and there are people who have it on their computers right now who are looking at it. I am positive. I know some of them. There will probably be the first research papers submitted in days, and then it's just going to keep rolling out. This is how we saw the Carina Nebula before now. James Webb reveals a textured landscape with hundreds of new stars. And these five galaxies, known as Stefan's Quintet, suddenly come into sharp focus with Webb's technology. This group of galaxies has a lot going on. Two of those galaxies are smashing into each other. So you have a giant cosmic shock wave, and, and it, you can really just see how it glows. Another discovery, a distant planet WASP-96b has evidence of water vapor. That observation is thanks to one of the Canadian-built instruments on board the telescope. Called NEARIS, the device helps the telescope see infrared light. It's fabulous. It's fabulous to see finally that spectrum of a, an exoplanet. Uh, seeing this, uh, this, I mean, it's all that we've been working for. For those Canadians who've devoted years of their lives to building Webb, they hope their work will answer some of humanity's biggest questions. We're turning the page on, on, uh, on new chapters on, on, in astrophysics on every field, the early universe, the exoplanet atmospheres, the star formation processes, how galaxies evolve, and even things that we don't even know yet. Okay, so uh, Jayla, as far as that next chapter goes, what, what can we expect next? I mean, what sorts of discoveries can we anticipate? Well, this is the thing I've been asking scientists is, is what can we expect to see from Webb going forward? And they say, look, we really don't know what the biggest discoveries are going to be because we just really can't anticipate what this telescope is going to discover in the universe. But of course, there are some big things that they're looking for. One of the things they're keeping an eye out for, one of the big things, is the potential for distant planets that could be habitable. So they're going to be keeping an eye out in future research for things like signs of water, uh, signs of habitable temperatures. Lots to discover. Jayla Bernstein in Montreal, thank you so much.